I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. Whoa, yo. Okay. Oh. See, this is when it starts to get a little weird. America's cheapest mother. Extreme cheapskates. Here we go. Is that her house in the background? I better not be. My kids are total cheapskates. My kids are total cheapskates. No, you are. You are. <laughs> I'm Jordan Page, and I'm the ultimate cheapskate housewife. Hey. You want to sit here? At least it's a family together. A typical family of five can spend up to $3,000 a month on household necessities. It's a big house. But Jordan, a 27-year-old housewife in Utah, spends less than half of that. The juice, we water it down big time. One part juice, oh. one parts water. You guys want some waffles? I'm gonna give you guys some cereal, okay? We're gonna give you 14, so tell me when to stop. Yo. Now, wait a minute. <laughs> Not the Cheerios. And remember, you need to eat all your Cheerios, or next time you only get 12. On a scale of 1 to 10 of being a cheapskate, 10 being the highest, I'd probably say at 11 or 12. Okay, Priya, you ready for your two lines of waffles? Two lines? Waffles are awesome because they have those lines, like a grid, and so Hutch is three, so he gets three lines of waffles, and I know that that's how much he can eat. This is breast milk here, and we love it because it's free. While they're young and they don't eat very much, Valid. I freeze as much breast milk as possible so that when they're done, then I still have a few months worth frozen to stretch it. Is that safe? If it's possible to freeze it, then I guess you can do that. But just like freezing milk and then like letting it thaw out and then drinking it, I'm like, yeah, I don't think milk. <laughs> I don't know why. why does that work? Because have you ever done that with regular milk? Yeah, nah. I have little experience with breast milk. A lot of experience with breasts, but not, <laughs> not the milk necessarily. I'm looking at this and I see she's starving her kids. I don't know the recommended calorie intake <laughs> for, a, for a three year old. For a three year old. If she's hitting that, I ain't mad. All right, your kidney should have at least this many calories eating this type of foods. If she can hit those nutritional requirements, then fuck it. The kids don't look like they're suffering. <laughs> the family's together, it's not a separate unit, so I'm digging this. Jordan has found some of the biggest savings in the bathroom, cutting her family's use of toilet paper from 300 rolls a year to only 40. Three. Three? Should we do three? Okay, let's rip one. But I hope it wipes enough. <laughs> How much do you think daddy should use? Um, four. Jordan, I'm sorry. Oh, no. Nah. Daddy needs more. <laughs> <laughs> so, when you use your four pieces of paper and your ass is still <laughs> shitty, I'm, well, I'm getting the roll. <laughs> No one's watching me in there. <laughs> and I don't like how they prepared them already for me. How do you follow that? You gotta get the shit out. Sometimes the certain amount ain't gonna do it. Well, I crumple mine up. Do y'all fold it? I've been doing more of the dude wipes. I do the like, hybrid. I've been doing those. Yeah, the dude wipes just been helping. The wet wipes. I do both. You fold and, and or crumple? Crumple first. You crumple and like just pat it down? Nah, I wouldn't pat it down. But I also I use the dude wipes too though, so. In this case, it's like you have four little <laughs> squares. What happens when you're sitting there and you still have more That's what I'm saying. And when you He's get the cheaper toilet paper, it's thinner. So what if you get like this thin ass and you, sheet? And it rips on your thing? <laughs> oh, I got shit on my hands. I would like, you know, the bidet yeah. where it shoots water up your ass? Yep. I think I would want one of those. I don't like buying toilet paper. So Whereas good. if you get after every time you do it, hit that bitch. <laughs> You never buy toilet paper again? It doesn't have a dry feature, does it? Mm. That would feel weird. What do so you, you do? You do have the same toilet paper then. Can a European person please let us know about how the bidet functionality and if it is uh, optimal? I have to get used to that feeling, but. Yeah. Water up your ass? Yeah. But it's like high power too. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey there! Hey! hey oh. <laughs> almost done. I'm not hating on them that much. They're a little shitty. Not the kid choosing how many whites for the dad. No, Billy. <laughs> Daddy needs 60. Shortly after we we were married, an opportunity arose for us to build what we thought would be our forever home. Suddenly, we couldn't qualify for the loan for the house, but we had already built the house. Today, the Page family is financially back on track, and their extreme saving measures allowed them to purchase a million dollar home. The original owners bought it for over a million, Whoa. and we got it on short sale for about 450000 Then we were scrappy and we sold the basement apartment to my parents for half. That's lucky, most people can't do that. I was just wondering if you guys had any food that you're not using, like leftovers. Imagine your neighbor doing that. All right, so she's getting neighbor's food. <laughs> Have a good one. Hey, Chris, how's it going? I was actually wondering if you guys had any leftovers or any food that you're not using. Um. I've got some lettuce. Uh -huh. What the fuck? Jordan's monthly food bill comes out to a mere $180. You sure he spends 180 bucks a month on food? 
is what I like to call an end loaf. <laughs> in our house, we go through a lot of bread, and a lot of people don't like to eat the heels of bread, but Bubba likes it, my kids love it, and it's still good, so after a while, it makes an entire loaf worth. See, I'm having a hard time hating on it because I'm like, damn, come up. You're really getting free food. And you know how much food people waste? I waste 20 pounds of food every week. I guess you gotta put your pride aside and go up to your neighbor and say like, hey, you guys got anything you're throwing <laughs> away? How much you wanna bet there's a lot of people around where we live that would really don't, that waste just as much food. And I'm, imagine being the one person that just stands up. Fuck it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come up. I have probably wasted $20,000 in oh, wasted yeah, groceries. Yeah, yeah. Now, granted, how often are she going to these people's houses every night? No, no, no. Here she is again. Do you think it helps that she's a woman though? Ask him. Like, yeah. Imagine the guy. Yeah. Hey, yo, she went in the hills. She knew what she was doing. Mm -hmm. Neighbor of mine. She gave us some cookie dough. Cookies. <laughs> Blue free cookies. I bake cookies without using any power, and it doesn't make your house hot. Whoa, yo. No, okay. Oh. See, this is when it starts to get a little weird. The car temperature at 160 degrees. She's finished baking for free in two hours. There's a new trend with backyard farming. I think we have plenty of space in the back and we're fenced. I think Whoa, if we, no, no, hear me out. We could raise a pig and then <laughs> get a ton of work out of it. You can pay upwards of 350 per dozen for eggs. You pay 10 bucks for a chicken Six chickens later, you're getting a half dozen eggs a day. I think, what did I sign up for? Do you know how to cook that, man? What would our neighbors say to that? Our neighbors might think we're crazy. If you're going that far, go find another way okay, to make money. What do you do, right? Like, there's a pig in the back. Time to get bacon this morning. What are you going to do? You're going to go and kill it? What do you want to look at? Well, can we start with chickens? Absolutely. How much do you have to feed the chicken, though, weekly? So, how many eggs will each chicken lay? Chicken will lay an egg about every 26 hours. Damn. Awesome. That's like a half dozen a day. That's a lot of eggs. Here are some goats. Hi. Oh, Get your milk from the goats. You might be onto something. You might need to open a farm or something. We go through a lot of milk, and this goat is going to give us 12 bucks worth of milk a day. And then just have a great here. And y'all have energy at the end of your day from work to come do this? So this baby would cost $80, then you would have to pay $30 a month in feed. In six months, the pages will be able to have bacon every day for a year at hundreds of dollars below store price. No way. And honestly, that amount of bacon, you know, that might actually be worth it. That's my favorite cheapskate episode. If you get a chicken for 10 bucks and then it lays in six eggs a day, you never have to get eggs ever again. Because you could just eat eggs every day. I eat eggs every day. Let's see how much work is that though. Bruh. You need a proper facility to create that. Right, right environment, make sure you collect the eggs, someone's there. And who are you paying to take care of cutting the pig up? Yeah, right. Yeah, I don't know about slaughtering a pig. Who's doing that? Hey, yeah. bacon every day though. Oh, oh my gosh. Bruh. Oh, she really what got him. Look at that neighborhood. That's huge. Should we let him go right here? That look fence looks expensive. They love it here. Huh. <laughs> look at oh that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They really got the goats. They really got all these animals. I knew a girl who had goats, but she had a big property. And the pig's okay back at the farm? He's doing just fine. Oh, we're gonna be rich. <laughs> <laughs> Scared the kid. After the costs of feed, shelter, and vet bills, Jordan will reach her savings goal in two months. Congrats. The goats. Saving 12 bucks a day on a gallon of milk would be pretty awesome. But I guess when you're paying for the more expensive eggs, it's the convenience of it. That way you don't have to have a farm in your backyard. This is my favorite cheapskate. I'm start shopping at like Dollar Tree. Imagine all the plates I can get. I'd be spending too much on plates yeah. and like, see this is teaching us how to be more frugal with our money. If you're getting food or getting stuff, go to the Dollar Tree, go to Dollar General. I don't know about like like the entrees though, I don't know how good the food. Yeah, no, I don't know about the food there necessarily. But like simple household appliances. Why would I go to Whole Foods? when I could literally go to Dollar Tree. Like if you go to Goodwill or Salvation Army, something like that, they have plates, they have oh, mugs. You ain't gotta go to Target and pay $15 for a mug. Kinda weird now I'm in this age where it's like, how can I make things cheaper? Think about the longevity of like money coming in when you're young. Just kinda just, ah! <laughs> What do you do again? Ah! <laughs> this is my most favorite, most positive reaction, I think. Well, they weren't like dirty, you know? Like, the place was clean. She was baking the cookies in the dashboard. And they look clean. I kind of want to try it. Uh-huh. Let me get a little like, cookie. Uh, little cookie, little breast milk. Could you uh, whip me up some? Sorry. Oh, I prefer it fresh. <laughs> Just straight from the source. <laughs>
<laughs> I'd help you. you know. Yeah, I would have the frozen. I like the sustainably sourced. Yeah. Direct from consumer. Like, <laughs> it's, just, it's just more organic. Sitting there next to it. Oh, thirsty. What are we going to have with these cookies? Because cookies are matched good with. What are, what are they matched with? What are they good with? Oh. Uh, 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 not water, not cookies water. Cookies and... Cookies <laughs> and... Santa Claus, what does he always get? <laughs> what is this that Santa Claus always has when he... It's cookies... Cold glass of... Dip it in the... Um... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> She was kind of bad too. That's the secret to get all these free things, maybe. That's how she's getting all this free shit. She's saying, come suck on my titty for a little bit. <laughs> That's it. Got any eggs? I got mail. Got any eggs? <laughs> Tip for tap? <laughs> Literally. Okay, bye. Okay. <laughs> okay, that was good. That was good.